there is a high number of EDC chemicals in our environment, mainly estrogenic substances. The chemical diversity of the substances belonging to the group makes their testing difficult as different analytical methods are required for their detection. Based on the chemical structure, it is really difficult to determine if a substance is actually able to work as an estrogen. In addition, these substances are never present in a pure form in the environment, so their effects may be influenced by other compounds too. This problem is solved by effect dialecting methods, such as the use of biomonitor bioindicator organisms that show estrogen effect. It is known that certain genes react sensitively to estrogen in living organisms. The detection of gene products by molecular methods is also possible at protein or mRNA level, but usually involves animal sacrifice. Animal protection laws have been becoming stricter and there is a growing demand for alternative test systems. Transgenic technologies represent a possibility with its development and with the discovery of fluorescent proteins, the way for the creation of biomarker lines have been paid. By the help of such lines, the activation of an estrogen-sensitive gene can be tested in vivo. In this video, a possible method for use of btg one m cherry transgenic zebrafish embryos is being shown for the testing of estrogenic substances with the help of two compounds. The protocol can serve as a background for studying the estrogen effect of different chemicals or environmental samples on biomarker embryos. The zebrafish line used in our experiments is a vitellogenic report.